Okay, here we are, map two on TSA Carbon. A cold purple map set in the mountains of some sort of space area. And you can fire your weapons all day long on this. Generally, you want to bring either short range or pop tardy long range. You don't generally see a lot of medium range on this map. Remind me to send this, le this link to bird thing and or Lico so we can get that posted up now that we know what the live stream link is all right viewers this is the 3v3 tournament this is round four map two between the clan jade falcon guards and the sj mostly heartless here we have a gauss or ac cannon with four medium beams uh, the same thing there, we have a PPC and auto cannon. I think on that Uzeal, we have a AC-20, a large laser or something like that on the Thanatos, and we've got medium beam. So the name of the game is Beam City. Expect to see lots of lasers here, and the two teams have brought equipment to jump snipe, but they've also brought equipment to fight two meters away from each other. Let's go ahead and follow in our match. And let's see what they've brought to cook here on this map. We have all eight teams ready to go. We've got a little bit of a delay uh, as we try to get to the second round of the day. Round five, and we have round five, six, and seven. All set and all ready to go for you. I'm keeping an eye on lots of neat stuff. We hope you have fun today. And... We hope that we bring you an excellent tournament, both for the players, both for the game, and other things. We have wait time for the two teams. Not a fan of that, but it is something that we're going to just have to get by with. Uh, we offered the opportunity to scrimmage if you want to watch, and there we go. The Falcons have the initiative because their weapons are going to work much better at close range. I'm surprised that we're not seeing a bit more focus here. Joey is going to possibly explode. The Falcons are a little more coordinated here right now because they want kids in, then they want Joey, then they want Architect. SJ trying to spread damage, but the Falcons surprised them. And SJ has a bit more of a ranged list here, and they're really not able to utilize that right now. And with kids in unable to share armor, it's been just a little bit of time before Mech goes poof. They do get Lico, but Kidzen is going to have to carry a lot of damage. Kidzen is going to have to do a lot here if SJ is going to pull what I think is going to be a little bit of an upset given that initial volley. Threw me wrong, SJ. Alright, Falcons, you need to focus fire here. Your commander's gone down, so you need to pick something and spread your damage and focus as much fire as you possibly can. I'm a bit surprised here that Jamek is focusing completely on Joey. Joey at this point is just trying to spread damage and it's going to be up to Architect to get the kill. This could still very well be Jamek's fight as he's been largely untouched so far in this. And that avatar has got pretty good damage and nice armor. 75 ton mech against 35, uh, 40 ton mech. Not much they can do there. And now all the Jamek needs to do is make the right shots. And this match could very well be his. Joey is going to need to fire on the back of Jamuk and whatever the damage component is. I just think that Joey just does not have the armor for this. And if Jamuk is able to get the first shot off and in close range, I just don't feel that Joey's weapons work well for this close range situation. Let's find out. Five, four, three, two, one. Jamuk gets it and SJ falls to three and two in the tournament while... The Falcons approved to 2-3, and three, I believe. Although, given that this is round 4, I think the Falcons approved to 2-3. and three. Let's find out. Check the damage here a second. Hmm. A close battle. A close, enjoyable battle. 